page as you and have the capability to guide you correctly. They don't have that here in Cleveland with Dan Gilbert. It's just that simple. But ultimately, the culpability does lie a lot on LeBron James because he is King James. He's the two-time champion. He's the four-time league MVP. He's the guy on the record saying that he came to help these guys and to teach them how to win. He talked in that kind of language. So when you are accepting that responsibility, that onus on your shoulders, and then things are going awry the way that they're going, you don't get to sit back and say, well, it really has nothing to do with me. We just need to play together and play hard. We're going to be just fine. No, it gets to a point where you've got to show and prove. Everybody has been waiting for LeBron James to be LeBron James. And I've said this for weeks now, and I'm going to reiterate it again. LeBron James has not looked happy at all at any point in this season. Even on opening night, he looked exhausted and a bit overwhelmed. And it's been that way throughout this entire season thus far. I don't think he anticipated feeling that way when he decided to leave South Beach. And I'm certainly the rest of us did it. Yeah, it's a burden that nobody else in the league is carrying on and off the court. Cavs and Lakers, the King and Kobe, both desperately seeking some good news, looking to bring it strong. Stephen A. always does. Thanks a lot. No problem.